This is Eugene Panarkovich. On the laptop screen doc, the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus U46E laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on an Asus U46E laptop computer. Before we go any further, what we're going to do is remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. We flip the laptop over. There's two levers. You slide right above the battery and you slide them in and you take the battery out. Once the battery is out, we can work on the laptop safely. Okay, in order to get to the screen, we have to remove the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove some screws that are holding the screen bezel in. And then these are hidden by some rubber and plastic covers. There's two down here, two on the side, and two on the top. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to go over the tools. We're going to use a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, one stands for size. Also, we have a smaller pH zero bit, just in case. We have an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck. All right, let's get started. So the first order of business is to remove the screw covers. We use our X-Acto blade for that. As soon as I remove this one, I see there's no screws there, so I'll put it back on. And let's see, up on top, there's no screws on top, so I was wrong about the number of screws. And let's check the plastic screw cover on the bottom, and indeed there are screws down here. One, and two. So our job just got a little bit easier we have to remove two screws instead of six. But it's always a good idea when you see some sort of rubber cover, that looks like a screw cover on a screen bezel, always remove it to make sure that there's no screw behind there. Okay, so we remove one screw, and we use our tweezers to take it out and remove the second screw. Once again, use the tweezers to remove it. Once we do that, we can start removing the screen bezel. The way we do that is I like to put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds. When you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. The screen is coming up, and slowly start working your way around the screen. If there's a part that doesn't want to give, you find a different part and go to a part that does want to give. Okay, we keep going around. Like so. And there's some adhesive on the bottom. So take our time and almost done, and the screen bezel is off. Okay, now once we remove the screen bezel, we take a look at the screen. This is a slim screen, and what we need to do is find where the screws are. And the screws are uh, down here, there's two here and two here there hold the screen on top. Most other screens hold the screen from the side, but this particular one holds the screen on top. And there's some adhesive tape here. We're gonna need to remove it to remove the screen, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna put this tape to the side and we'll reuse it once it's in. Okay, next. We're going to remove the screws that are holding the screen in and make sure you have the screen assembly 
tilted back when you do that. And when with each new set of screws that you remove, make sure you keep them in a separate pile. So when we put things back together, we don't get confused. So three and four. Okay, once the screws are removed, removed, we take the screen by the tabs and slowly tilt it forward and make sure nothing is getting stuck. There's some adhesive and some tape and we can lower it. Alright, next what we need to do is remove the connector. And the connector is held by some adhesive tape. So we lift up the adhesive tape like so. I use the exacto knife in my fingertips. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We lift it up and we pull the screen back a little bit and then we slide the connector out like so. Once the connector is removed, we take a look at this screen. This is a rather unusual screen. I haven't seen one like this before, but if you email us, we can help you find it or hopefully we'll have it in stock by the time you watch this video. So let's take a look at the screen part number, see what we need. And get a good focus. See if the camera cooperates with us. So far it doesn't want to cooperate. See if this helps, there we go. Okay, so the screen part number is HW14WX101. That's the part number you're looking for. HW14WX101. Okay, and if you do want to order the screen from us or see if we do have it in stock, um, you go to screensurgeons.com, click on Buy a Screen. And when you get to that page, there will be a short form for you to fill out. And in the form, you will say ASUS-C46E, give us your email, and we'll come back with our availability of the screen. Otherwise, you can look for the screen on Amazon or eBay, see if it's available. All right, uh, when you put the screen back on, put the connector back in, make sure you feel a uh, clicking sound. So when you slide it back in, Make sure you, the connector has a clicking sound and there's no seam between the two connections, like so. Once you do that, put the screen back in, put the two screws back in, and then put the tape on the side here, and put the screen bezel on and put the screws on, and you should be done and good to go. Okay, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and have a good day.